what's up guys? So today I have a new video about a new lens I got for the Mamiya. It's the Mamiya Sector 65 millimeter lens. Goes down to f4.5. So I went out today with some uh, Kodak 200 to get some test shots with it. And I bought it for I think like a hundred bucks I paid. The only thing that I noticed is it looks like there's a little bit of moisture inside the actual lens. So I'm kind of curious to see if that affected the photos. The For the functionality of the lens, I didn't have any problems with it. Um, the only thing was getting off the old one was really hard. I thought something was broken, but it was just sealed up on there. So I, I did get it off and this one got on. It seems to be in good condition though. So far, I have not had any other problems with it. For a hundred bucks, I mean, it's not bad at all. It's a nice different change of pace from the 180 mil lens I had. So now I have something wider, more uh, variety to shoot with. So that's always a, a plus. So I went to this garden that was pretty close and I didn't realize there was a venue going on. So as you could see, I was wearing a different change of clothes, but I did end up getting one photo this day, this really cool spot. And this is what it looked like. I really like that one. The color in it is pretty cool. And here's another angle. So this was the next shot I had set up and I stepped out of frame to get the picture, but this is what it looked like. There's a little weird marks up in the corner, but it all adds to it. So I think it looked pretty nice. So moving on to the next spot, I really liked the way the leaves were growing on this wall and the little kind of a uh, walkway through the bricks, but I overexposed it. So as you can tell, the floor looked pretty bad, but I still like the way it looked. So the center garden area was really pretty. And this actually turned out to probably be my least favorite photo. The whole time I forgot my light meter, so I was using my phone. And as you could tell, it kind of didn't do the shot justice. So the next location was this house and this one was probably one of my favorite shots just the way the colors look and the distant cranes in the background kind of really tied it all together so i walked further down this trail to the house that you just saw and i was having a hard time coming up with a composition and I kind of like this one, but I wish I'd gotten more of the tower part of it, but it still turned out pretty nice. So I ended up going back to the middle part of the garden to hopefully redeem myself. Well, I didn't know it at the time. And the next two shots I got, I actually like a lot. I think they were way better than the first one. So I'm glad that I went back to get more. So the last spot I went was right up by the water, but my camera battery died, so I didn't feel myself taking the photo. But this is how it turned out. It's a little blotchy in the sky, which I'm not a fan of, but other than that, I think it looked pretty cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had fun making it, and I'm glad that lens is in my collection now. It's definitely nicer to have a, a bigger array of lenses for, for that. So most of the photos I liked how they turned out, there's a few of them that were like underexposed or one that was overexposed, but I think they're still pretty cool. It's a good learning experience too. So let me know if you guys wanna see more of this stuff and I'll be sure to make more of it. Peace.